Prezi time. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. On this video, I'll be unboxing the Quadlock USB charger and fitting it to Ambrosio over there. I also purchased an extra cable, just in case the ones I had either didn't work, weren't long enough, too short, or whatever. So, let's get into it. Okay, so this is what we have here. The USB charger from Quadlock. You must have the uh, original cradle really to fit this into, which I do have. And so let's get into it. Let's see what we get. Nothing in the box. anything. I can just pull this straight out. Let's not lose the screw. All right, so remove that before use. What we're going to do, we have some instructions here, the warranty, USB charger and some stickers. All right, and this is the charger itself. There's the USB. You can stick your phone in and camera or whatnot. All right there. And there's got a bit of a cable tie here. I presume we have two separate pieces of wiring here maybe. Uh, maybe not. So that's all the way through to the battery and it got this it has a name this type of connector. I will put it in a description or in this video later. But I believe it's a kind of a universal type of connector. You can connect all types of electrics from your battery into that. So pretty straightforward. You can see the quad lock mounting there. Right, so the next step is let's get Ambrosia ready, my BMW R1200C, and uh, let's uh, look at how we can get this fitted, hopefully under the tank, uh, onto the, the handlebars. All right, move on to that next. Okay. I thought I'd mention the uh, center stand that I bought about three, four years ago uh, for the BMW, uh, which I'm going to put her up on now, but I thought I'd show you it first. Uh, I got it from Germany. can't remember who or from where, but it's quite a hefty piece of kit, extensible, and it goes into the pre-existing center stand mount points under the bike, which I'll show you. That goes in there, hooks it in, and then you can tighten the side, make sure it doesn't slide out. And quite weighty, the wheels to roll the bike onto it. Just thought I'd share that with you. And there is a big lever to uh, pull the bike over with. Although I've always been wary that that end is going to shear off one day because that in its entirety that end is going to pull the bike onto the stand well not entirely got to use your arms and legs as well to pull it on but i'm always wary of that bit but anyway onto the stand bit first things first <coughs> protect your knees so i've taken the pins out of the stand and the stands go in here. This one here, and the other one is over there. So let's hook this up. This guy in here. And 
Same for the other side. That's it. The stand is ready. So, to get to the battery, I need to uh, remove move the tank to the side. I'm not going to actually take it all the way off uh, because of all the piping underneath. Uh, I don't want to disturb any of that. And, uh, but to get to be able to move the tank, I have to take these sides off, which are easy. Those sides off and put it with a screw. A couple more screws with a the seat. Then we can get the tank off. I think there's a couple of tanks, uh, screws as well holding the tanks in here. And so we'll do that, but I think before that what I'll do is I'll attach the USB uh, charger to the quad lock uh, mount there and just have a play and see where the cabling could potentially go without being exposed, hanging about, getting in the way. So we'll, I'll have a look at that next. I believe it goes on here. I don't know if we can use the same screw or the longer one that came with the uh, USB charger. So I think I need, need the longer one. I'll show you the difference between the two. This is the one I just took out. This is the one that came with the USB charger. So I'm guessing this is the one we need to use. Oh, click nicely. Ooh. Typical screw has run away and hid. Screw into there. Yeah, just stick out a bit at the end there. So let's put that back on. tight there I think a bit more than that All right we have it fixed ah. <laughs> wrong way around let's undo that so we need this to come off and go that way around and we'll go back on So what I have on there is the shock absorber as well, shock mount. And I've put the USB charger on top of the shock mount because I can't see it going underneath very comfortably. But it looks all right. Okay. Next we need to explore is uh, ways to route this cable. I'll send it down the other side there, down there. And I'll hug these electrics, I think. Yeah, I think I'll hug this bunch of electrics here. Probably cable tie it to it, like these guys are cable tied. And I'll send it through into there. So you can see it going. So all of that, I'll follow, I'll follow where that's going. Oh, that's that one off the top there. So when the tank becomes visible, oh, it's off. I should be able to see a bit better what's underneath.
an easy life thing. Alright. Keep it safe. up and back there we go. what I've got to do is lift it and twist it Cork and grommet Extra bit of length inwards. So the battery. Just checking how it's gonna look like when I'm sat on the bike. So I'll just double check here. So the battery is there gonna to connect to there. The cable is now in here. I've rooted it around there and out through that gap it pops up the bottom here and we'll cable tie it to this bunch of electrics that's coming up here I don't think there's any other place for it to come up I don't want to do it from the underside in case it gets pinched or anything but also it seems natural it wants to curve it wants to curve and go and go in there naturally go that way naturally anyway let's see what it looks like if i'm sat on the bike it's gonna look like that another usb at the bottom here right there and it's cable going off that way, not on the way of any instruments. I'll attach it, as I said, cable tight to the electrics away from the forks. Yeah, I think that is the plan. The battery fittings are now on. So here's one. Nicely done on the outside here. And the liar, the positive. Also done on the outside there. Nice and tight. These colours. I'm going to have struggling going over it, I think. Might have to chip a bit off. Clip a bit off the edge of this so that it goes flat on there. I'll put the same on this side. I need to clip a bit of the plastic off there so it goes flat. Otherwise, this bit is plumbed in. And again, I don't know the name for this. There's a name for it. See something I can't remember now. I'll put it in the a message underneath. And that's the other end of it. Right there, two ends of it. So the moment of truth will be to plug this in, plug in the cable into the phone and pray to God nothing blows up. Okay, before we plumb everything back together, a USB cable that I bought from Quadlock, this little short one with the uh, lightning connector on the end there for the iPhone. So. Plug that in underneath. Uh, I'll do it the right way around, Bob. That's what I do it the right way around. Okay, so moment of truth. A. Okay, it's hundred percent, but I think that green bit at the top. Pull it out. Off. Pull it back in. Yeah. Pull it out. Back in. Yeah. 
So, success, I think. I think it's just a question of putting it all together now. So apart from this grommet thing that I need to find a replacement for, we are done. What I haven't done is actually just cable tie these things yet. I just want to get some really small ones. All I seem to have is some massive ones. But otherwise, everything is working. Everything is twerking, as they say. Cable nicely routed through here. Through there. I'll attach it to that and be out of the way. So that's all done and uh, the bikes are all back together and I'm actually charging the GoPro of the USB charger right now. Final proof of the pudding will be, will the bike start? Excellent. My electrical work is up to the usual mediocre standard. I haven't broken it, so I've done well. So, if you like the video, subscribe if you like it. Definitely click a like and tinkle that bell so that anything else I post in the future, you'll get a little notice on it. And uh, I will catch you on the next one.